in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make your own castor oil at home and this is an updated video i already have a video on castor oil so i have some issues uh, some comments that i need to resolve so i decided to come up with the updated version of this video and i hope after watching this video all your questions are going to be answered so this is a bowl full of castor seed this is a bowl full of castor seed so the first thing to do is to roast the seed you have to roast the castor seed Okay, so you're going to leave this on the fire for some time, about five minutes for it to roast. Whilst it's on the fire, you keep on stirring. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you two methods of getting castor oil, making your own castor oil at home. So I hope you stay and watch this video to the latter. You can now turn off the fire when it starts looking this way. Yes. So I'm going to allow this to cool and then I'm going to pound the seed. This is very hot. I'm now going to put water on the fire for it to boil. The water should be enough, enough water. If not, you won't get the oil. I found this for a very long time. You can see the oil all coming out of the seed. My water is hot now and my castor seed has already been pounded. So what I'm going to do is to take the castor, the pounded castor seed into the hot water and then stir it. If you're new to my channel, please support my channel by subscribing to my channel and if you love this video so far do not forget to give me a thumbs up already i hope if you tried this method you will come back in and give me a feedback on your results after the 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 liquid has been on the fire for more than 30 minutes the, the oil starts appearing on the on the water so i'm going to be collecting this water which is the oil liquid from the castor castor cat yes into a new pan so this is the first method the first method here is by collecting the oil the water oil whatever collecting it from from the from the oh my god <laughs> collecting it from the card yeah the castor card and then separating it <laughs> am i right yeah you separate it and then you have to put what you've collected on the fire so that the water will evaporate. So this is the second method. This is what I have collected and this is the remaining. So the second method is you have to wait. That is you you will not collect the water from the surface so you allow the water to be on the surface till it evaporates 
so the oil will come on the surface of the castor card is it card okay the castor residue or whatever yes so the oil will settle on it that is if you are using the second method but if you are not and you want to use the first method then you are going to take the liquid from the surface and then put it back on the fire so this is the first method this is what we had and this is the oil I'm getting. This is the castor oil that we have been working more than hours. This is probably going to take you about two hours to get this. But one advantage is you can add a base oil to castor oil because of its thickness. So you see the second method, we didn't get any oil. And this is because we collected all the oil for the first method. Finally, this is my oil. And this oil can be used to promote hair growth. I know you love this video. Please do not forget to share this video. And do not forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Bye.